He is the only villain that I think we have seen that is an actual leader. Yeah. He is a that. he's leading an entire not nation. like a bunch of orcs like yes like, like uh, people Thanos. that you don't care disposable about disposable people he, yeah he cared about these people I actually felt for him he uh, he's like he's been around for like what five hundred years or so what do they call him <laughs> I freaking love when he says that so good. I'll do it a hundred times it's okay. Welcome to season three of the Explain Everything podcast. In the next 30 minutes, your two best friends are going to help you stay the smartest person in every room. And hey, tell all your friends about this podcast or you'll never meet your true love. Don't worry, though. Neil will love you. Not more than chili cheese conies, though. Don't be ridiculous. We've got new full episodes every Monday and low baby bonus episodes every Thursday. An all-new Explain Everything podcast starts right now. Looks like we made it. I, I absolutely love Paul Rudd. Hey, welcome to the uh, Explain you think he's Everything podcast. Yes, yeah, I think he's a hundred percent. Guys, we are going to be talking about uh, some Marvel movies here today, specifically one that Tyler and I actually saw together. Saw this together. has not happened since Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw not? was the last movie we saw together. So we only see the Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even say it correctly. But we only see the Gary's. Uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever was incredible. <laughs> we are going to talk about it. Uh, welcome to the Explain Everything podcast, everybody. Welcome. That's uh, that's Tyler Tarver. That's over us, there. and that's Neil Greathouse over there. Chiseled jawline. I don't think that's right. I'm more Hasn't like a melty e pear. Eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Uh, we just exercised. We did our morning routine. Yeah. We got a um, did our hot yoga. We did our, yeah hot goat yoga. Hot goat yoga. No, nope. no, those goats are hot. Stare at some no, the goats are hot. Goats. <laughs> Man, man, that one's got a buzz cut. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna downward dog towards. That. <laughs> this is all oh, wrong. This is so all good. wrong. Uh, Everything we just did is wrong. Kind of right. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> hey, uh, we are doing a deep dive. We're gonna talk about. We need to be very, very careful about this beforehand. We could be spoiling things for you. Oh yeah. If you have not seen Wakanda Forever. <laughs> That was very. I feel like you should be like Michonne's character. Wakanda for it. Wakanda. My favorite line in the entire thing is in the trailer. When he goes, Go, go, go. It <laughs> means favorite. what? It water means God or something. The, uh, yeah, yeah. What is it? The, uh, I the, saw a TikTok where a guy said, I, for me, for the next two weeks. And he's like, <laughs> He says that. Go, go, go. He leaned into it we so are hard. He, he, he absolutely did. That's yeah, good. what does it mean? It, he's winged something. I don't know. He says, we need to kill the fish man. <laughs> so so That yeah. is underrated. I loved him he's in this. so good. So this is spoilers. Uh, we are going to talk about Wakanda forever. Um, Tyler and I have, uh, we've mentioned this before that Black Panther is one of the highest grossing Marvel movies. And they would have known it had they not heard it from us. Oh, no, no you, there's you, zero chance you would have known but that. But you don't use the internet, but you're just like, I know this podcast. You know like, now. My mom accidentally listened to our podcast. Accidentally? Yeah. Were we talking about her? Uh oh, not that time. No, she listened Man. to a news one. She's like, that was just very informative. For real? I don't know if she said that. I made that part up. I don't she remember. Gave she gave us a listen. You're telling she me? did. She did. Did give she us a hit listen. that subscribe button? Oh no, she doesn't know no. do that. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know how oh, she no, found no, the no. podcast app no. I downloaded for. Wow. Yeah. So uh, this movie is uh, the last in Marvel Phase Four. We're gonna t we're gonna talk through the movie in a couple different ways, but I have to say this, and I didn't real. So we were there. It's the end of Phase Four. Okay. This is the end of Phase Four. I don't know if you were. I think you were aware. It was really late when we saw the movie, so the movie it start started time was, at eleven p.m. Yes, it was. Well, it was actually a little after that because it was a ten forty-five movie, and they had twenty-five minutes of previews. Yeah, which is great or whatever. Hey, at least uh, I brought my twelve-year-old son. You brought <laughs> Dad of the Year. That's the, hey. He was. I don't think he was the youngest person in that theater. There yeah. were a lot of other kids in there. Yeah, uh, I brought my son Roman, who has also made sure to tell me that he has not been featured on our podcast, and he is very upset with me. The only one of your of your kids, well, correct? Yeah, that has not been. On I this actually podcast. almost thought, what if we brought him in here for this one? Why I thought, didn't we? Nah, let's keep this going. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let him no. know his place. Well, no, really what it was is it's so early. He, there's no way he's getting up this early to do Maybe this. Maybe he stayed up and watched the <clears throat> little uh, little space Maybe simulator. Maybe he did. He did. We were texting. He, he texted me. He said, here we go. Here we go. I was like, yeah. A couple of NASA boys. <laughs> little fly boys. So do you, did you notice in the theater socially what was going on in the theater? It was uh, not a packed theater, but it was very full. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah, like 70, 80%. Yeah, I would say 70, 80%. We were definitely a minority in that theater. Yeah. And I cool. absolutely loved seeing it. A couple in of that. generic whiteies. A couple of white guys Ugh. in there. But a lot has happened. And for some reason, until this movie got done, and I had a day or two to think about it, so much has happened since the first Black Panther movie that has given us some sort of social awareness. I don't know if this is okay to say. George Floyd, Black Lives Matters, COVID, school shootings, war in Ukraine. There's so much going on. For some reason, this one had more social whatever. It was weightier. And for a lot of other reasons. We could talk about that as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what would you give this movie? Do you want to come straight out? And, like out of and, 10? Yeah, out of 10. Uh, I'd say like an eight and a half. I, I could go eight or nine and feel good about it. You're yeah. going to say four because you hate no, everything. No, 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 no. I'm shocked. We see. Uh, I, I would give it an eight. Eight or an eight? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this this movie reminded me of what, what Marvel movie did it remind you of? Because it has some notes of a previous Marvel movie that's one of my favorites. Um. It's a good question. So you're you're looking at someone new trying to cope with it. Honestly, I felt like it was more like how they've done Spider Man. You know, he lost Iron Man and he's trying to deal with that. Like yeah, the yeah. first Spider Man after Iron Man died. Yeah. Like it was like a lot of the of his character development was stepping into a role he didn't feel like he was big enough to fit. Right, right. And you've got Siri. Like you sure. sure. <laughs> It keeps auto-correcting when I type her name I know, in. That's why I'm joking. I was like, oh, my gosh. So she's trying to step into a role. <clears throat> yeah, big huge. Big shoes to fill, huge. big claws to fill. And, uh, <laughs> no <laughs> that was, uh, way. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, that sounds like a promo that for was like, a Today show. <laughs> on today's God, guest, big. we have... <laughs> Awesome. She's got some pretty big claws to fill on the new Black Panther movie. <laughs> what was it like filming that? Oh, my gosh. Um, Did you have any experience with real Panthers? <laughs> Go to the zoo. <laughs> Uh, so what did it remind you of? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of uh, Spider Man dealing with the death of or the loss of Iron Man. Yeah, and stepping What's, into that role, the weight of that role. Yeah, th this movie reminds me of Civil War. Okay, why? In a couple of different ways. First of all, there's tension in it. We talked about this a while back. Killmonger, I believe, is one of the best villains we've had. One of the best. Because not just because of Michael B. Jordan, but because he was doing something, I think, for all the right reasons. Yeah. And he wasn't wrong about the majority of it, depending on how okay you are yeah. with killing people. Yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> which is really the only difference yeah. between good guys and bad guys. Well, no, no. They still both kill people. Oh, they do. They yep, just yeah. don't. Justified. The music is the only difference. <laughs> what kind of music? And right. if they show the person dying. Captain America chunked people off of fifth-story buildings. Yeah. They died. Yeah, those, those guys are gone. They died. But they didn't show them hit. Wow. Or else you would have felt differently. It's that they show the death. That's the difference between a good bad guy and a guys. bad guy. That's crazy. This uh, this movie was emotionally charged right out of the gate. Yeah, they, they did some. So I don't know. Going back and and I don't know how you remember finding out that Chadwick Bo Chadwick Boseman died. It was quick. Yeah, because we didn't know his yeah. family chose to keep his colon cancer and his battle private when news came out. Which also I've been thinking about this lately. It, for some reason, I am more leery of news right now, yeah. of actually taking any of it for what it's actually worth before I actually go, wait a minute, I want to actually, I'm going to do my own research. Yeah. But like when the news of that came out, I was like, no way. No, it's, it's the same I felt when I saw that Kobe passed away. Yeah, like, you're like, what? You're like, no. Like they weren't even on the radar. Like there's some yes. people you're like, yeah. oh, well, Burt the, Reynolds the, died? <laughs> yeah, he was like 108. <laughs> like, okay, we get it. I, the it's bandit like, force like not people that pass away and you're like, Sorry, they were Chad. still alive. Like, it's Chad. Oh. Chad, big Smokey and the Bandit fan. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, okay. no, that is <laughs> no, that is not it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, so, Smokey got himself <laughs> in a real bad situation. <laughs> that's Dukes of Hazzards. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're crossing a lot. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Generic 70s driving shows. Oh, my got all mixed gosh. Together. Well, you might as well throw Knight Rider in there. 
Night Rider. No, nope, okay, I, I, I think never that's watched the Night Rider. Wow, I spit all over the microphone. Okay, so this movie does something that I was not prepared for. You know, a, a credits roll or whatever, you get ready, and it goes straight into this fevered pitch of trying to cure or solve whatever T'Challa is dealing with. And, and Shuri is going through this. And it's kind of the way a lot of us are like, wait, what? And she, they're like, hey, do you want to go be with him? She's like, no, i got to figure this out because yeah, we're going to take care of him. To fix it. And it didn't work. And you, it was immediately you're like, oh, my gosh. And then they go into the title of the Marvel Studios. It was silent, wasn't it? It was silent. They haven't done that since Stan Lee died. This is the first one. And honestly, I, I don't know. I, people, Marvel haters out there might dislike this. Who hates Marvel? I think that there are, actually, there are people that, that hate There's people that don't like Phase 4, but if there's people well, that don't like sure. Marvel, uh, um, they're in prison. <laughs> yeah, right? they're, they're gone. Yeah, they should be gone. They're DC. They're, <laughs> they are. They're, they're DCU. Uh, so I, what, what I think happened here is I think we, uh, we ended up honoring Chadwick Boseman more in this movie than we did Stan Lee. And yeah. I'm okay with that. Well, because he's the movie's centered around him. Right. You have to. You're not going right. to put, hey, nope. we're dedicating this to the guy that was a cameo in every movie. Yeah, yeah, like, and that's, that's all. People only knew yeah. him as that cameo. Yeah. To, to a lot of people, Chadwick Boseman was their king. Like, he he represented a lot. I know it yeah. sounds crazy to say, but, like, is not a real character. Yeah. But, like, this movie helped give a voice to a lot of different people. So yeah. I was like, it emotionally grabbed you right at the beginning. I also want to say this. The, the amount of heavy lifting that this movie had to do, mm-hmm. I didn't think that I would be as emotional about it. Yeah. And they got you. Not just one time, not two or three times. A lot of people die in this movie. Yeah. Like, I mean, honestly, think about it. Yeah. I didn't know that Angela Bassett's character was going to, like, she dies. No, no. I wasn't ready for that one. I know. I didn't see that one. I thought she was going to come through. And then whenever it was... Two of them, they can't say both. You know, like you know, that's just right. movie one hundred and one. Yep. Yep. When two people yep. come out, neither are breathing. You're like, okay, yep. the, the young one's. Did she be save fine. Riri? She did. Yeah. That was yeah. yeah that yeah, that's care. why. Yep. Uh, I think that's who it was. That that was like okay. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. So that that also makes the 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 role of Letitia Wright playing Shuri even more important. And I got to say this, she didn't ask for this role. Like if you think about it, when she signed up to do Black Panther, she was a uh, a supporting cast member who was the fun sister, who was technologically advanced, all that kind of stuff. She had to then pick up the weight of taking this Black Panther franchise on her shoulders for this transitional movie. Ryan Coogler, I give incredible props to for handling job. this, and also not one time bringing in some weird. CGI like, version. Yeah, none of yeah. that came in. Everything that we saw of Chadwick Boseman in this movie was actual footage from the Black Panther movies, and I thought you couldn't have honored him any better. Yeah, he did a good job. And Gosh. I love, I love too, that he – because there were some people a little critical, like, oh, how could you, you know, like – tie in his death into the movie as well. I'm like, what's he going to do? Go on vacation? Like, oh, yeah. And then, cause then, you know, for the end, for the next, anytime there's like a big yep. world ending the bad blip guy, too. like, where yeah. were you, where Chadwick? You were just like retired. Right. You right. know, Jordan, pull your jersey down. Okay. And so it's like, <laughs> yeah, they, bad. They, that they would have been criticized for that, but he like checked with his family on everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he made sure they were okay with every like plot yep. point and everything, and they were all fine with it. And so. This entire movie, you can tell that they are feeling the loss, and I believed them when they were on screen. Yep. So Letitia Wright, so, so Shuri, I didn't realize this. Like She is, I don't know, say technically or supposedly, the smartest woman and the smartest person in the MCU. Yep. More than Bruce Banner, more than, well... Robert Downey Jr. Up to, up to that point, Tony yeah. Stark. Like, she's smarter because her country has more technologically yeah. advanced whatever. So that's like, okay, that helps. She grows a synthetic herb in her lab to get to the astral plane. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And who's waiting for her there was really interesting. We, yeah, we I love that. that. That was incredible. I believed her inner turmoil and all that kind of stuff. She handled that. That that would be, she is my favorite person. Ah, I I would I have to put her as number one because of what she had to do for this movie. But my favorite character in this one was Namor. Oh yeah, he did a good job. Oh he my did a really gosh, good job. that's like one of his first big acting roles, isn't it? So apparently he's in Narcos. Okay, I've never seen Narcos. I've seen season one. I uh, have not seen any of Narcos, which I just said. 
And I don't know why yeah. I felt the need to say I've it seen twice. season one. <laughs> this, I, I, this guy's relatively unknown. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even know he was in Narcos because I haven't seen it. I know. I, I've, well, I've seen season one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was the entire time was just a way to get to that. Okay, so he is one of, and I would challenge anybody to a fist fight over this. He's one of the best villains we have ever had in the MCU. Yeah, I can see that. Here's why. Do you really feel for Thanos? Uh I mean, why I, is he doing all this? I get it. Well, it's population control. <laughs> I mean, that's God. what he said. The U.S. just hit nine, uh, eight billion people. The U.S. Or sorry, the U.S. Wow. That's, oh, we've taken over oh, the world, Neil. Oh, oh. oh, world population. Yeah. Hey, so, real quick, talking about taking over the world. Yeah. So you know, we went to uh, <laughs> other countries you recently, did. and yeah. we were talking to this dude um, when he was driving us, and we got talked to him for a while because we rode to Stonehenge and back. And so, wow. yeah, I know it was a long drive. Oh, cost me a lot of money. That's um, <laughs> fun. <laughs> um, and so. <laughs> I could have bought a couple cards with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sports cards or Hallmark cards. It's just pieces Get of cardboard it, with Tyler. somebody's picture on it. He was talking about it and I was like, you know, I like to ask like what's their perception of America and all this stuff and like they view America as like the world power and they're like, you know, it's like I get that they're trying to like control a bunch of stuff but also like and he it was kind of hesitating and it kind of like hit me and I was like, do you think that like if they didn't, like if America wasn't the biggest someone else would be fighting to take over everything. Like, you think about yeah, it, if, yeah. if there's... and Because he was saying it like they keep other stuff in check. Yeah. The fact that they're a large superpower, and it's like, yeah, America's got some... You know, they've got some areas that they need to chill out about, like, and calm down and, like, stop being, yeah. like, the world police. But also, like, if there's not a superpower that somebody's afraid... Of, there's not a big, strong kid on the right, playground, right, right. another kid's going to try to prove that he's yep, the strongest. Yeah. Like, look at Napoleon, look at uh, Hitler, look at Caesar, oh, yeah. look at Alexander Un the Great. Unchecked. Uh, Genghis Khan. Like, they will go... And, like, there there are men who rise to power, or women... Sure. And sure that will... I'm sure <laughs> they will. Sure, yeah. But there's people that rise to power, and then their goal is, is more power. And where does that stop? You take over the world. Like, this idea of taking wow. over the world... Yeah. Has um has has intrigued guys in, oh gosh and through history yep and it's like if there's not a power that can stop those people so the, somebody would yeah. you know and yeah. so it's like it was crazy to think about because you know I think a lot of like man why are we doing that or why are we doing this or maybe we should chill out with the nuclear weapons um and, and I say there's not areas they can improve but yep. if somebody's got to keep it in check. if America just went full on like oh we're just gonna stop it all we're gonna be Switzerland then somebody would take over yeah, yeah. and and who knows if they're good or bad you know what I mean yeah. Which would probably be the Namor's people. There you go. Way to bring it back to our actual Honestly, topic. Think, well, no, seriously. Think about it, though. There's This is a balance of power yes. in here. Yes. It's an entire world we didn't realize even existed. Yes. And all of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute. What? There's this entire civilization down there. I actually think, outside of Loki, this is the best villain. And it took us Ooh, how long good. to get to Loki's end point? I didn't understand Loki until the series. Until the Disney Plus series, it didn't make any sense to me. Now I understand it better. This movie did all of that in one movie. Yeah. That is incredibly difficult. So he's wise. He's freaking strong. He yeah. picked up a helicopter. Yeah, she died. I did she die? She, I guess. I wrote that in the notes. I don't know. I was, she she died. was she in other movies or was that her only appearance? No, that like, no, I felt she's like we in a lot of other movies. Her. Yeah, she's a fairly well known actress. Okay, what I know um, she's I know knew she was an actress, but has she been in Marvel movies? So Dr. Graham is, is her character. Lake Bell is her name. She's what else is she the in? The doctor. I mean, it's been like it's not like bit roles and things like that, but I mean she's been in nope. Has she been in Marvel movies? No. This is the first Marvel. This is the first Marvel. Okay, movie. I because I know she I know her as an actress. Like right. we're, yeah. we're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a podcast <laughs> together. But like I, I saw her and I was like, <laughs> what? I saw, what weird? Um, and I saw her and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to know her? Like because you know there's a couple people that bounce up and yeah, bounce in yeah around you're and, like, wait yeah. a minute, where they come from? Yeah. So I, I, she's very recognizable. You're like, oh wow. Her entire reason for being in this movie was to to help you understand that vibranium is somewhere else. Yeah. But does she die? I think she dies. I don't if know. she How doesn't, she, well, they they reference the fact that he, they took out the entire base. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like, like a ship or a boat yeah. in the helicopter. I don't know what it was. Is she dead? We she don't might know for be. Sure, but well, the really the biggest question we should probably ask is: Is she slow? Is she slow? <laughs> Danny DeVito. Can be is she slow? So uh, he is the only villain that I think we have seen that is an actual leader. Yeah. 
He is that? a he's leading an entire not nation. like a bunch of orcs like yes like, like uh, people Thanos. that you don't care disposable about disposable people. He yeah. he cared about these people. I actually felt for him. He uh, he's like he's been around for like what five hundred years or so. What do they call him? Kukukan. <laughs> I freaking love when he says that. So good. Kukukan. I'll do it a hundred times. It's okay. Uh, so he, the thing I didn't like was the end of it. He's so strong. I understand they tapped his powers out a little bit because they had to dehydrate him, which I feel like that sometimes too. I get dehydrated and I like pull a hammy. I'm like, man, my quads are locking up. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know you're I mean? you're a big uh, leg guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You do legs. You should see my legs. Oh my god, he's got some great legs. Oh my god. I don't want to turn to the camera. He's got legs. I'll never post the video. No. <laughs> I just do that. <laughs> he is. He keeps looking at the camera. So, but I mean, so he gets beat at the end. I feel like that fight between he and Shuri was okay. Yeah. It's like Shuri's first outing out. Yeah. Namor has been out for 500 years fighting people. I'm like, ah, he technically did put a spear directly through her and pinned her to a rock. Yeah. And you'd think that's a game over, but apparently it's not. Well, she, she ate the flowers. So she heals better. I loved the little... Oh, yeah, you're right. She's Like, the way I picture Black Panther's powers is he's like a little less than Captain America without the suit. And then with the oh, suit, yeah. Yeah. he he he. It's oh, you're right. Evaporated. I didn't think about that. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't get dehydrated, uh, obviously. So yeah. that fight was a little. I was like, I don't know, but um, the, his character. I was like, all right, I get it. He's the first mutant in the MCU mm -hmm. that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I loved the fact that they kept him like he looked like what the comic book character does except for the fact that he had all the extra jewelry on because they did this whole meso American. Uh, tribal Aztec type thing that is not in the comics. In the comics, he's from Atlantis. He's not. He doesn't come from Central okay. and South America. None of that is is there. And there's no. There's no. Uh, I almost said adamantium, and that's not a real thing. There's no uh, vibranium. Okay. So that's not necessarily a thing. But um, you think when they bring Wolverine in, he'll have vibranium instead of? Oh my gosh! Never even thought about that. That'd be well. Sick. Yeah, but that'd be a massive change. I mean, but it's Massive their world. Did you, okay, did you notice something about this about him? I actually like that he wasn't like this completely shredded, ripped, wearing a costume where you, it like it looks like you've, you're wearing like a padded muscle suit, yeah, kind of thing. I'm not saying he wasn't in shape. I just I was like, but he's not doing push-ups and sit-ups. It was every more minute. believable. I don't know why. I was like, yeah. okay, wow, you're that not guy. An Abercrombie model from 2003. No, like calm a down. Bag. From that? The bags? From having bags from oh, yeah. Abercrombie? Oh, yeah. used to yeah, cut out yeah. the bags from Abercrombie <laughs> and put them on his wall. So he couldn't swim when he took this role. He took. He said yes to this role. Had, he could not swim. Well, he doesn't really have to swim. He just sits there and makes faces where it looks like he's zooming. <laughs> like There was no part where I was like, oh, he's just swimming over to that boat. Yeah, they did the water thing really well. Like They talked underwater well, but Aquaman was like odd. Aquaman was weird, but they did, I think they weird. did a good job. They did a much better job with this one. All right, number three, I've got Queen Ramonda. Angela Bassett. I absolutely loved it. I would say the first half of the movie really belonged to her. Yeah, she did a good you know, job. when mom's still around, she's still in charge. She's still, she's, she has some, uh, some like authority. I mean, she basically gets up from the United Nations and she says, have I not given everything? I mean, that's like, oh my gosh. And she's grieving. Yeah. When she's saying that, I was like, this is, I can't imagine this, this whole movie is like, it's, it's not a reboot. It's continuing on without your main character. Yeah. That is... That people love. Uh, I mean love. Yeah, it's not like Two and a Half Men, like, oh, we'll just replace him <laughs> with Ashton Kutcher. You know? Who no What if loves. they'd have replaced Chadwick Boseman <laughs> oh with Ashton Kutcher? Gosh. Better or worse? Worse. Yeah, hard worse. Worse. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I have this... I'll give this thought. She dies halfway through this movie. Did Namor actually kill her? Yes. I mean, she drowned as because a result of the of water what? he threw at her. But but he didn't. He didn't like. You know how like people. I hold him responsible. Some, okay. Yeah. Would he go to jail if this is real life? Uh, you'd have yeah. to prove it. Have to prove it that, that he, he shut. <laughs> well, the video cameras recording oh, yeah, it yeah, probably would. Yeah. yeah. There's that. That's right. You're right. Um, okay. She she knows that Wakanda is weak because there is no Black Panther, but she doesn't want her daughter to do it, which uh, brings up probably one of my least favorite characters in this movie was Riri Williams. So we're going to start talking now a little bit about some of the plot that I did not enjoy. This movie is like two hours and 34, two, two hours and 40 yeah. minutes. It's yeah. long. I actually believe there are parts of this movie that didn't need to be in here. Okay. 
this it, I know that Disney is a machine and they've got to introduce new characters because Ironheart is coming out. Yeah. They've got to get this going. Is she Ironheart? Yes. Okay. She is in this movie and she is in the series. So her name actually is Dominique Thorne. She plays Riri Williams. Her character bothered me, but oh, not because I disliked her no, or disliked the character. She did a great job. She was shoehorned into places. I'm like, I don't know. I just it was it wasn't enough. They were trying to make out her, her her like level of intelligence. She's making an Iron Man suit almost similarly to what um, Tony Stark did in a cave. In a cave, <laughs> yes. It just this this kind of I was like ah this is also Roman said it and I'm glad he said it. Then there are some TikTok videos on this. Her suit of armor for Ironheart literally looks like a Power Ranger. Yeah, it looks like a Saturday morning cartoon, and it bothered me it every time smooth. it was on. It was too smooth, but that's because there's a visual effects crisis. Which, if you want to, you can go back to last go and week's listen. And oh, listen to that. Plug. Yeah, that's there. Uh, Akoye, Daniel Gurira. <laughs> he leans into it so hard, and <laughs> I does. love it. He does. I absolutely loved it. Um, and I love how he's so confident in his strength. He's never won a fight. Every time he's fought. He's lost, yeah. but he is like, we'll just punch him in the head and win. I'm like, yeah. bro, uh, you were the weakest. Like you're. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, so I got I got that name I got that name wrong. Akoi Akoi is not is not her. So Mbaku is that guy. Oh, I sorry. was I was off I was off on my notes on that one. Akoi is part of the Midnight Angels. I didn't oh, realize yeah. that that's what those warrior princesses were yeah. were named. The Midnight Angels. It's in the comic books. Yeah. The Midnight Angels actually do fight Doctor Doom. Because Doctor Doom is coming for the vibranium. So was that an end credit scene, or was no, that that was no, made? No, that is one hundred percent okay. made up. There are there are fake. There's fake news out there about an end credit scene with Doctor Doom. That's one hundred percent. She had a lot of humor. She had a lot of pride. She gets kicked out of the door, Melage. It's really really crazy. She was amazing. Sorry, Mbaku is Winston Duke. He's the guy that uh, yeah. he's he's wise. He's funny. I think he brought a lot of balance. He calls Akoi's character a bald headed demon. And, and I laughed out loud. That's pretty like, funny. Yep, okay, that's pretty funny. Um, I didn't expect him to be the guy that Shuri kind of leans on. Yeah. But there's nobody left. No. They're all dead. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's the thing for her character. You're taking her from I'm on, I'm gonna say like a second or third tier character from these other movies. Yes. Like she's just like oh like we yep. need a smart person to work on something in the background right. while everybody else does right. the fight. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like for her to develop as a character, she needs to kind of be left on an island by herself. But she has to deal with not only yes yep. we know you're smart enough, but can you make the right decision as a leader? And so it's like to do that they had to get you know I mean they didn't. Chadwick passed away, but like they had to get rid of it, her mom because her mom is a strong leader. Oh gosh, yeah. And so you got to get rid of her. Yep. And then yeah, it's you have like, to. oh, you're right. So it's like you have to leave her on her own, where she has to make the calls. Wow. That impact other people, and she made a call that got what ninety percent of the characters on that little cruise that ship little sh killed <laughs> yeah, on that on Norwegian boat, cruise. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you're yeah, down to yeah. just the main characters. It yep. was like. Something out of Game of Thrones where they're fighting off they the were White all Walkers. Done. It's like, wow, okay, so you know you're going to lose a main character because they can't just all live and every right, other right. character dies. I did not realize. That is a massive turning point because once mom dies, there's no one else. There's right. no one else that she has to make the call. You're right. You're right. And Baku was, uh, I thought he, he, he actually had some wisdom, which I think was good in his character development. There's a funny part. When he's eating that carrot and he keeps snapping off that carrot and chewing it really loudly, like people are <laughs> laughing, but I did that not realize that's a callback to what he said in the first movie when they were talking about being cannibals and all this other stuff. There, he and his people are vegetarians. Are you serious? Which is why he was eating that carrot, that makes which is sense. hilarious. Yeah, he was just he was hilarious. Killmonger, um, Michael B. Michael B. Jordan. Okay, this is the question. The, uh, you know how much time it took them to put all of those little scars all over his body, and he's wearing like I don't know what he's wearing, like that robe or whatever that is, and you can see there's a bunch of those on there. Do you think they put all of those on, or just enough to where they could see it through the costume? I think. I think they put the rest on there, but they didn't like paint them because you have to like you have to match a skin tone. Yeah, and so I bet they just put them like on, little like, dipping dots. Yeah, little little, they little diamonds. <laughs> they, they put them on there. Yeah, his character. So we already even talked about this because he didn't deny that he's not in it. He said yeah. it's like what like ten percent that he would be. I forget what he yeah. said the percentage was, but it's like I forgot. I got caught up in the movie, and when he came on screen, like when she went there, I went. 
oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And then he showed up. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, when they were slow going to that throne, I was yep. like, it's going to be him. It was perfect It was timing. so good. And I, I'm not going to lie. So if I'm being completely honest, when the trailers came out and you see the claw and you know that somebody else is going to be putting on the suit. Yeah. You wanted to be I him. I wanted it to be him. Did you really? I did because I, I one, he was right. Just don't yeah. show people yeah. that you kill. <laughs> It's the only difference. We know so hero hide it? Hide the killings? Hide the kills, yes. If you shoot and move with the hero, <laughs> they, you right. seriously, in yeah. your mind, yeah. picture him like taking out a couple of the people uh, this is and it just follow him. Yeah. I literally have never heard that before. I think I just made that up. You might have. But it's true. I figured out cinema. You just figured... <laughs> No big deal. Cinematography. I will, you just got I will it. be your teacher. Now. That is, you're, but you're right. I, whenever I saw it, I wanted it to be him. Yeah. Because I couldn't picture her in that role. She, I think she, they did a good job. Her oh, suit yeah. Was cool. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. get it. Um, but also, if you're going to keep a secret that you saw Killmonger, how about you don't wear his colors on your suit? Yeah. Like, you're you're not so embracing they, it. You're embracing it inside, but you don't, you're still embarrassed to say it outside. Yep. The, so the, what we're talking about is the gold that was on her costume is really more uh, representative of, of what Killmonger's yeah. Black Panther costume looked like. Yeah. yeah. It was so good to see him, but then I think... He, so here's... The danger of bringing him back is he's a cameo. He was not a cameo. He was no. necessary he, in yes. the plot of this movie. Yes. He pushed it forward yes. because his anger and mistrust for people is what fueled that inner turmoil in yeah. Shuri. But for real, like think of how he grew up. How would he not? Be Heck like, yeah. And her, she's always relied on other oh, people to man. make decisions. And then she's just like, I'll help. And then does this. Yep. Now she's having to be like, do I kill him? Do I do really? Because that's, yep. that's the role that a lot of people in second and third play. Like, then they don't the have second, to make that. They don't one. have to make that call. Right, yeah. You have to. Hawkeye's never had to make that decision. Yeah, because there's good and bad. Like you're literally <laughs> to murder someone, you got to think I could keep him from murdering others, but also yeah. I'm murdering. Like, oh yeah, it's yeah. like it's it's. It, a it would be decision. a wrestling, big wrestling yeah. match, and he said he's like, "Are you going to be weak like your father? You going to be weak like your brother?" I was like, "Dang!" Yeah, he says it. He's like, "Yeah, he had zero chill, <laughs> zero uh, chill." Nakia, uh, played by Lupita Nyong'o. She's so good. Oh my gosh! I wrote a line down here. I don't know if you want to see. I just saw Do it. you agree with this? Say that line. I mean, yeah, she's the Hermione Granger of the movie. I mean, think about it. This movie doesn't happen without her. No. She's the real hero behind the scenes. She was getting stuff done. Yeah. She knew more things. And then really by the end of it, we'll get to that in a second. Like, oh, wow. She's known things for for a long time. Can I tell you a secret? Yes. So, you know, whenever they had uh, Shuri prisoner and they had to break her out? Yeah, yeah, I fell asleep (laughs) during that part. (laughs) I was so tired. real because yeah, I'd gotten up really early. I didn't. I only slept a few hours the night before. Were you watching the NASA launch? <laughs> no, oh. no. I was probably watching TikTok or working. Dang on something. it! Oh, and uh, I, fell I fell asleep, and it's like I. She was <laughs> it, about it was to sneak in, the in, and I woke up, and they were just getting back. So I just missed her breaking her out of jail. Okay. And I asked Titus after me. I was like, "Hey, <laughs> what happened during that?" And he goes, "She got her out." Yeah, she I got her like, out. Yeah. I go. They just Anything like, else? Did they just like walk out? Yeah. I was like, did anybody stop? She, he goes, I think she punched a guard. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, she had to do a little bit of fighting, but not much, and they kind of like skedaddled. Okay. Like, hey, get out of here, little kitty cat. Get out of here, you little goose goose. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Look, you should have fallen asleep, but you didn't fall asleep in a bad part. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, major. I, my subconscious knew. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I could catch a couple of here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this so I can be awake for kill. Oh, they're out. Okay, yeah. they're out. Did I miss anything? Yeah, Dad, yeah. they're out. Okay, there's that. Um, she got, uh, I think, a lot of work done. Um, she also, let's just go ahead and say it. Uh, she has a child. Yeah. In, in in the uh, in the grand scheme of things, the way they did a post credit scene. What, well, sorry, mid-credit scene. There is no post-credit scene. They did a mid-credit scene in this movie, and it was completely shocking to me. Yeah. You because didn't see it coming? No. Me neither. Because they continued. They didn't, like, go to something else to, like, highlight what else is coming. They just continue. It picks up right from where the movie left Still off. story. And then the fact that she has a child, we will we'll talk about that uh, here. We might as well talk about it. Um, she has a child, and he... Was oh she says this line talking ab- about uh, T'Challa and, and he said he was my king and Black Panther to everyone else but to me he was everything he was my T'Challa I was like that her character is just incredible we, yeah. we might as well go all the way down to um, 
we're going to get down there. We might as well get down to it. Okay. T'Challa and Nakia had uh, a son. His name is Toussaint or Toussaint, I guess is, would be how you would say it. I did not realize some of this stuff. This is the, where the writing of this show is, is brilliant. Um, the reason why she fled to Haiti it's not because it's beautiful. They have nice beaches. Haiti is the only enslaved people who ever completely overthrew their government and their oppressors. Yeah. The king and the general who did that, his name is Toussaint Louverture. He was a former slave turned general. He led this revolution. That is what this, this young man is named after, but he's also called T'Challa. So he has a Haitian name, and he has a Wakanda name, which is, oh, gosh, that's just like, they didn't have to write all that. Didn't have to put any of that in there. And they're just continuing to, oh, dude. All right, this is, Tyler, when this hit me, this hit me two days ago. I did not realize there was a massive... All right, I'm freaking out right now. I see that. I'm freaking out. Take me there. There's a massive difference between DC and Marvel. And it's in you moments care. like this. <laughs> you care about yeah, their people. Yeah, yeah, that might be it. So what city does Batman come from? Gotham City. Where do the Avengers headquarters? New York? Yes. Yeah. Is Gotham real? No. I believe this is one of the fundamental reasons why people like Marvel more. It's because it's a. It feels it's in like it's real, a real world. Place. Yeah, it's they're talking about Haiti. Yeah, the granted now they're talking Wakanda is a fictional country, but it is based out of Africa. That we know. Oh, you're right. Oh it my could be gosh. There. Oh my gosh. They hide themselves. It from could the be. World. They do. But that's the difference. They go to okay. Ant Man is in Scott Lang is in San Francisco. Yeah. You care about it more. It's not in Metropolis or Gotham. These are fake cities. Yeah. That's a massive difference. Yeah. I, when I when I I just, smart. it just hit me. You're okay. Smart guy. Uh, another character Everett Ross. Did he need to be there? Everett Ross, uh, I'm saying that name and you're like, who's that? No, I know who it is. No, he didn't have to. He's like the CIA operative. Yeah. Is he there? Does he have to? Probably not. I don't really think so. Is he gonna? Is he there because of future movies? He is going to have a role in Iron Wars, which I believe is why they put him in here. Iron Wars. Who are the main people in that? Ironheart. Iron Wars. Are you gonna have? You're gonna have Ironheart in here, Riri yeah. Williams. But you'll also have other. You'll have other bad guys. We don't know who. Okay. Cool. So that's a series on Disney Plus is coming out. Okay. Uh, this is the one that bothered me the most, and I'm sad to say it. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, Julia Louis Dreyfus. Did her character need to be in this? Well, there, if not, there's no conflict for him. There's no reason for him to be out of the CIA. You need to get him out of the CIA. Have they ever in other movies talked about how our bosses and our leadership and all this other stuff don't want us to do that and you feel the tension of it? Yes. Yes. But this time they have to bring in the actual person and it's her. I get that they dropped that little bit of a bomb in there. They're like, oh, wow, they used to be married. Yeah. I get all that. She didn't have to be in this movie. And the scenes where she was, I was like, what the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. You could have fallen asleep during those scenes and it would have been okay. There's a second time it could have happened. That's it. I don't I like I I'm not mad about seeing her in the movie. I like her character. But the fact that okay, the Thunderbolts, she's gonna bring them together. The Thunderbolts is Marvel's answer to James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Yeah. Which James James Gunn switched sides on that. All right. Uh, we already talked about Dr. Graham. Namora is that as that lady. That's like the I gotta say hey, this. can we say this? Yeah. Dr. Graham. Yeah. Played by Lake Bell. Yeah. Dr. Alexander Graham Oh, Bell. my gosh. Is he a doctor? Yeah. I'm okay. sure he was. Alexander Graham Bell? Dr. Yeah, doctor? Alexander? You know who's almost a doctor? You. My man, Tyler We are both Tarver. equally not doctors. Nope. Uh, Namora is played by Mabel Cadena. Uh, Cadena. Um, just kind of like the, the lady. I really loved how they put those things over their mouths. Yeah. The that was water. Good. I was, like, incredibly smart. Because they just could have been, like, conveniently be like, yeah, oh, they, they have, have the ability. Gills. No. They're, not, they're not fish people. They don't have gills. They have this. They have to breathe and, and water through the mouth and all that kind of stuff. For this role, she's like just a hench one, but for this role, she had to learn Mayan and English. She didn't know either. Wow. What did she speak? Spanish. Cool. See. Si. Muy bien. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. A bunch of random dumb facts that you don't really need to know about. Uh, Shuri actually is praying to the goddess Bast in the elevator on her way to the lab at the very beginning. Um, Bast was in the room when Thor was confronting really? Zeus. Was he nice? No, it's a it's a lady. 
Oh, was she not? She's not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll see her. It's a, it's a brief thing. She's sitting in one of those those thrones there. Oh. Really cool looking. Um, the opening of the movie. We already talked about that. Oh, during the CNN broadcast. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Um, Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. He's on there twice. You don't see yeah. him the second time. You see him the first time. Um, during that announcement, there's a little ticker at the bottom. There are two things it says. One talks about Scott Lang's on an autobiography tour for his book called "Look Out for the Little Guy." <laughs> And then there's also references to New Asgard from Love and Thunder okay. on that one, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's not Atlantis. It's Talocan. It's a, that's the Mesoamerican civilization that escaped Spanish colonizers. Like, so I've I've been to Rwanda. Sorry, I've been to Rwanda definitely, but uh, in, in Central America, been to Honduras, been to Belize, been to oh, brag um, much, Haiti. Neil? Just mission trips. No, yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of wow. I've so s- traveled. <laughs> I'm just playing. I've seen a lot of uh, seen a lot of these Aztec cultures and then Mayan cultures. It's really interesting going from Peru to this. Man, they nailed that part of it. Yeah, like it, it's really, really spot on. This is my question to you: uh, Is Mbaku king now? Yes, he's running it. Does which is crazy. It didn't hit me in the movie. Really? No. She left because she wanted to go. She wanted to have her moment. Sure, he left. She goes to Haiti. But she's basically, she's like, I don't want to be there for that. I'll miss that. I don't really care about that. She doesn't want to be king. But she's still Black Panther. She's still Wakanda's protector. But M'Baku is king. That's incredible. Yeah, it's, you know why? Why? Because running stuff is boring. <laughs> You know what's not boring for movies? Yeah. Fighting and yeah. traveling. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and yeah. And so it's like, it's the same thing they did with Thor. Thor didn't run New Asgard. Right. He handed it off so we could follow his story. You're right. He didn't want to do that. No. Yeah, because... Coco God! Doesn't want to do that. Uh, this is the best villain I've, I've seen in a Marvel movie yet. Ever? Yet. I think this is going to change... When we get to these next few Avengers Why? movies. Is there a good bad guy? Well, oh, because Kang. Kang is... Kang, uh, the, what, I, 10 I, minutes Kang was on I'm screen, I would already say he's the best. more than anybody else. He's in everything now. That oh, actor. my gosh. He's so good. Yeah, he's incredible. He may be one of the best actors I've ever seen. This is... Pr- I'm serious. He was that good. And when, as Kang, he was so good. I was so impressed. Like... His acting was so good it took me out of the movie. Is that is that for real? I'm serious. The way he did that role, like his inflections. The Jonathan way Majors. Jonathan Majors. That guy, he, he is, it's impressive. So it's impressive. All right, so we probably need to um, ask ourselves. The question on everyone's mind, will it rock? The answer is probably yes. All right, little segment we like to call Will It Rock. I'm so tired of The Rock right now because of Black Adam. Yeah. I'm I'm in fatigue with, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson right You're now. Rock fatigue? Rock fatigue. He never gets tired. <laughs> I saw a video on TikTok <laughs> yesterday of him working out with Sam Darnold. They were like what? working out doing like tricep raises. Why? Yeah. Well, because he know. needs to show he people does. he's worked out. He's still doing it. I'm like, it. we know. He's still working on other movies. I know he is. Uh, th- does this movie get any better? Will it rock? Would this movie be any better if Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in it, and what role would he have played? Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. He would have played... <laughs> He would have played Neymar, I'm right? I'm laughing already. Neymar? No. You think those little fins, all those little wings on his feet could have lifted him up on the wall? <laughs> That's it. It's, here's the thing. Could he be? He would no. have, if, if they did, he would have made a, had to make a comment saying, like, I'm actually so strong and big, you can't lift me up. I'm allowing you to. I raise and lower my blood pressure at will. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he would have to, like, it's almost like he would be intimidated by his own wings. That scene where Neymar comes up out of the water from underneath, it wouldn't be. Dwayne the Rock Johnson get, like, his nose just above water, and he's like mm, 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 back down, but le- <laughs> legit. If you see Dwayne the Rock Johnson coming out, that would be intimidating. It would be intimidating. He's a big guy. Gosh, he'd be strong. Would man. this be any better if he's in this? In the, no, he's too. He's too cheesy. He's too much of himself. Exactly. Like this movie, I'm not like, oh, there's Lupita Nyong'o. No, I'm not. I, I believe she's Nakia. I believe these characters are who they are. And I, he's he's way too. Remember what I said about Black Adam. The entire movie, he's winking at the camera. Yeah, he's like, "Hey, look at me. It's me. Remember me? Ding ding. 
Those are those are cameras. Okay, what about um, what about the guy that becomes king? Would it be better if he's that guy? No. I, I'll tell you this. No. If he's that guy, I'll tell you the thing that would be better. M- M'Baku? Yes, because M'Baku's a little bit of wink to the camera kind of guy. He's you know a what I mean? Little bit, yeah. And the th- the fact that again, having lost every fight we've ever seen him in, yeah. is still extremely confident that he can use his stick and beat up superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock has that unbridled confidence that he's he, like, he, I can do so many push-ups, I can defeat people in iron metal suits with my stick. He literally did that in Hobbs and Shaw. He did. He tried to beat up people with guns with sticks. You're right. He would so probably it's like try that role, role I could see, and I honestly, that would be more believable. Oh my gosh, we don't want to see that though. No, do we? I mean, not. It's too late. I <laughs> like that guy now. But had he been him originally. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, it would be funny to see The Rock as a vegetarian. Well, you know what would be funny? <laughs> you know what would be funny is you would get in the middle of it and you realize, wow, Dwayne, I don't know if you're actually black. Yeah, oh, no, there's no question. No He's, doubt. He tries to play the card of whatever race he wants yes. anytime he wants. You're not, are you He's Samoan like a little ambiguous, and he's like, I'll just do this whenever the, say he's African the script Irish needs or it, I will do it. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been in movies where he's like pretended to be certain races. Oh, my gosh. All right, so it won't rock. Yeah. Good. Take I that, mean, take except, that, I know, I just said that role would be fine. Yeah, it would be fine. Okay, there you go. He'd be good. But because that's your comedic relief is him. He is that. Yeah. Um, I I like that character. I like the guy that's doing it a lot. I I mean, he's good. I liked him. Yeah, he's good. Just for the record, I want you guys to know. Wait, we're making a record. Yeah. (laughs) Winston Duke. All right, guys, oh, this has been our review of Wakanda forever. Forever. This is Tyler and Neil. Hopefully this helped you. Make sure you come back on Thursday for a baby bonus bump bonus episode. I said bonus twice. Why? Because that's how bonuses work. It's more than you thought. It's a bonus on the bonus. I ran Inception. out of air saying that. I'm running out of air right now. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, thanks. We really appreciate you. <laughs> I almost said it. I almost said it. Thank you I for didn't. coming to Neil's TED Talk. What? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Tyler and Neil Explain Everything, officially your fourth favorite podcast. New episodes every Monday and little baby bonus episodes every Thursday. And remember, if you want to meet your true love, send this podcast to your friends. Looks like you made it. <laughs>